Uh, it's no good. There's just not enough information here to solve this one yet. Looks like... This is odd. Why would an astronomer be studying psychology? That's it! But what does this have to do with his other research? How could one man possibly need this many socks? Olaf seems to have been particularly interested in lunar eclipses. Velhoven kept a record of the time and date of every penumbral eclipse for years. Why was he so interested in lunar eclipses? And a cucumber sandwich. Also, I've reached a remarkable breakthrough. A direct link between the phases of the moon and the disorders of the human mind. But seriously about that sandwich. 
Yes, it's so simple. All of the moon's complex energies, electrical energy in the brain and the lunatic, all interrelated and all reduced to one beautiful, elegant formula. <laughs> Thank you, all of you, a song in celebration. <clears throat> Received the letter today. Imagine the greatest finding in the history of astral psychology, and they claim my research has no scientific merit. But their loss. If NASA ignores my work, perhaps a private investor. NASA? If Olaf Velhoven's journal is to be believed, he made an incredible discovery. He's mathematically solved lunacy. What could be causing this headache? <sighs> Never mind. I've got to get back to Corcus and tell her what I've discovered. Orca. I was right. This is big. Nelson, did you find something at the lodge? It's much bigger than the cult. Bjorn led me to a cabin in the woods where a scientist was investigating something to do with space. Really? I think it's part of some government cover-up. Ooh, a cover-up? Hidden recordings. He'd found something out there. Yes, yes. But after he reported it, he disappeared. And they tried to take me off the case. This could go all the way to the top. The CIA, the NSA, the, the Trilateral Commission. Oh, my. Now I've got proof. I was starting to think I was losing my mind that no one believed me. I believe you, Nelson. I think you're ready to see this. Huh? Good men like Haldor got too close. They started to find out too much. NSA and the Freemasons had to take them. Shut them up! You can hear it if you know how to listen. CIA curiosity suppression race. Sounds like whispers in the forest. But, but the astronaut. Astronauts? Charlatans. Don't be so naive, Nelson. Everybody knows Kennedy faked the space race to distract the world from a real breakthrough. The Kittimat incident. The first viable Bigfoot human hybrid. Well, I gotta go. Not sure what to believe anymore. Could I be going as crazy as Korka? Maybe these hidden people really are just a product of my imagination. The only sane person I've spoken to is Dr. Verstecht at the campground. Maybe I should talk to him.
Dr. Verstecht? Alfred, how can I help you, Agent Tethers? Have you ever met a local scientist named Olaf Velhaven? Once, many years ago. Strange man. Completely obsessed with some mathematical formula to cure psychological disorders. I think he may have found that formula. Did he? Well, good for him. You've been in these woods for a while. Have you ever seen any astronauts? Hmm. No, but I have seen the occasional scuba diver stuck in the treetops. Really? Of course not. That's an urban legend. What would you say if someone believed he'd actually seen the hidden people? I'd say that believing in the hidden people is absolutely crazy. But then, everything we believe in is crazy. From mathematics to democracy. So, the hidden people don't exist? Well, I never said that. The hidden people most definitely exist. There have been appearances for years all around town. It's almost as if... Well, as if they're trying to get somewhere, but they're being blocked. I've been able to pinpoint scattered locations of sightings, but I can't find a pattern to them. Here, take a look. Impressive. But I still don't see... Wait a second. This is a list of the dates of penumbral eclipses. Each one corresponds exactly to the emergences of the hidden people. Amazing. Give me a moment. They were just random appearances before, but now that I have a sequence, I can triangulate the exact position of the hidden people's home. We have to go, right away. Um, now? Right now, while the moon lights our way. Off we go. It must be nearby, Agent Tethers. We just have to follow the map. Do you hear that? Hear what? Alfred? Where did he go?
Hello? Nelson, I thought you'd never pick up. Jim? I was listening to the Scoggins tapes that you left and found something. Tapes? Jim, listen. Whatever you do, don't log the tape I sent you. Something massive is going on in Scoggins. Jeez, I mentioned the Hermes too and astronauts. If the director hears about any of this, it'll cause chaos in all the divisions. You can't let him know what's on that tape. Jim? <laughs> yeah, uh, I gotta go. If Isaac Davner was using an assumed name, that explains why these files have so little information about his life before Scoggins. But it doesn't explain what Ed Davis has to do with the hidden people. So long, Mrs. Garrett. You stay safe out there. Jennings? Good work, Tethers. Seems like you found something pretty important to these boys. But uh, I... You'll take it from here. But... Enjoy yourself, Tethers. You're on vacation for Pete's sake. Go skiing. Shoot a bear. As for me, I'm headed to that moose-eared diner. I hear they blend up one damn fine milkshake. Why don't you come along? If nothing else, maybe I can convince Director Jennings to listen to me at the diner. I've got to get to the bottom of all this before these agents cover everything up. I'd better check around town to see who, if anybody, is still on my side. Agent Tethers. Are these men giving you any trouble, Corka? Don't be absurd. He's very interested in hearing about what I've found. Even Bigfoot? Situation's under control, sir. Be on your way. Sheriff Bob, has there been trouble at the lodge? No, Tethers. I'm just explaining our community's customs to your government friends. I'm sure you'll all soon be on your way. I hope these agents aren't causing you any trouble, Sheriff Bog. I know how you hate to be bothered. We're consulting with local law enforcement as a courtesy agent, Tethers. We'll take everything we need and then be on our way. See, Tethers? Courtesy. Some people understand the proper chain of command. Sheriff, has anyone reported any sightings of, uh, astronauts out in the forest? Astronauts? You've been poking around in the woods too long. Some city types can't handle it. Makes them crazy to start to see things. I noticed all those reports are still filed as missing persons. Has anyone ever found any bodies? Bodies? Tether, are you suggesting we have a murderer in Scoggins? Maybe two, from space. Maybe you should finish your vacation somewhere else, Agent Tether. Somewhere not here. Don't you find it a little strange that Bjorn and Edvard are the only two surviving members of the Brotherhood of Scoggins? I heard Shoulder went missing, and the investigation is ongoing. Are you suggesting I'm not doing my job, Agent Tether? Well, the Brotherhood is very close to nature. They like being out in the woods. I'm sure it'll turn up. Strange things are going on, Sheriff. And I'm still not entirely convinced the cult isn't involved. We've got the situation under control, Tether. Ditto.
the lodge members practically worship the hidden people. Excuse me, were you ever able to find Shoulder in the woods? No, he lives with the hidden people now. Are you sure he's still alive? I think there are dangerous people in the forest. No, it is so terrible. We can only hope he has found peace with the hidden people. to it then. If you can think of anything else, it's important you tell me. I'm sorry, Agent Tethers. I've told you everything I know. see you tethers can't stay away from these milkshakes i see they are sublime you've got to listen there are terrible things happening in scoggins the foreman at the eraser factory isaac dabner well actually his real name is ed davis he was abducted from the factory dragged away by tiny forest gnomes and, and looking for him i found the body of an astronaut in the forest the brotherhood that's the local gnome cult, led me to a cabin with a reclusive scientist studying eclipses and lunacy. Then, last night, I found a camp around a crashed lunar lander and the remains of a missing cross-country skier. There's only one conclusion! The astronauts in the forest are murdering people!
Tethers, you're embarrassing yourself. Look, believe me, I know how crazy it sounds. I don't think you do, Tethers. But I saw them. Astronauts. There's a camp in the woods. Camping. Maybe that's what you need. Spend some time getting back to nature. It'll clear your head. But they're killing people. Maybe you don't believe me about the astronauts. What tipped you off, Tethers? But there are at least six missing persons cases in Scoggins. Possibly more. I already spoke to Sheriff Fogg. Good man. Got the situation under control. Where are all these agents from? Secret Service? CIA? NSA? NASA? Just stay out of their way and let them do their jobs. It's classified, Tethers. I don't know what Jim told you. Ingram, it's not what he told us. It's what he told you. I hope Jim's not in any trouble. He was just helping me out with my case. You're not on a case, Tethers. Vacation, remember? Yes, sir, but the eraser factory foreman, Isaac Davner. Could turn into a permanent vacation. Yes, sir. Director Jennings, since you've been here, have you seen any hidden people? Hidden people? Is that what the locals call the undesirables? Not exactly. They're gnomes. Uh, forest gnomes. So, no, then? All right, Director Jennings. I won't come back until I have proof of what I've seen. Feathers, you're a good puzzle agent, I'm assuming. I'd hate to see you throw that away. Noted, sir. Agent Tethers. Lori? I heard what you said about astronauts. I know it sounds hard to believe, but I know what I saw. Isaac used to say he had dreams about astronauts. They were trying to tell him something. I thought you'd want to know. I've got to find it. The body of the astronaut. 